Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here and welcome back to another episode of the Daily Crypto News or actually a crypto video talking about one of my favorite coins in the crypto space and that coin is called VeChain. Now obviously it's not the only crypto that I hold but it has a special place in my heart and that is partially because of how it moved one of the last cycles but also because of the underlying partnerships that this project has. It is crazy. So a little long story short is, what is VeChain? Well, if you check over on CoinMarketCap, you can see an easy definition of it. VeChain aims to use distributed governance and Internet of Things technologies to create an ecosystem which solves major data hurdles for multiple global industries from medical to energy, food and beverage to sustainability, and SDG goals. They, use, they do this through the power of leveraging trustless data, and Vision is building the digital backbone that will underpin the fourth industrial revolution, which demands real-time and trustless data sharing between many participants. Vision has been able to demonstrate massively boosted efficiency, traceability, and transparency across data trails, supply chains, and within novel kinds of ecosystems, such as those in San Marino, targeting UN SDGs, among others. Platform uses two tokens, VET and VTHO, of which the VTHO is the gas token. So a little summary. Well, VeChain is a supply chain token, if I had to describe it myself, or supply chain platformer. They basically help for a lot of different ideals, but it's mostly surrounding some sort of chip, some sort of movement of some sort of goods, or the verification or just traceability of some sort of goods. It's, it's, it's all in that little bracket. Theoretically speaking, it could also be about the status of some sort of good. It, it just depends on, on what exact niche you want to go to. Now, let's give some context to all of this. So, what is VeChain connected to? And give a little introduction as to why we're so excited about it. Now, as I said before, this excitement for a very large part comes from all the partnerships which they have. And again, I personally think VeChain is one of the most strongly connected cryptos in existence, even though it's surely arguable whether or not the usage of the VeChain token itself is also the greatest in the sense that not every single one of these partnerships uses VeChain or more specifically the VTHO or the actual VeChain Thor the token, right? The VET. And some of these partnerships are not as far as others, but just the big brands in terms of names and how they're going for some joint ventures and whatnot, it is really crazy. Just taking a little step to look at the, the partnerships which you see in this list. Kerna and Nahal, I don't think there's anybody that does not know that company. But Renault, you know, the car company. PwC, PricewaterhouseCoopers. I don't think there's anybody in the, I guess, the finance space that does not know them. Uh, NRCC, National Research Consulting Center. DIG, Direct Imported Goods. DNVGL, also one of the craziest companies. Uh, if you're Asian, a lot of people know this. Fang Huang. Entity Docomo, just huge and huge and huge names. And then here you can kind of start to read a little bit more about what exactly their their goal is or how exactly they're working together. Kerna and Nahal China implemented VeChain's blockchain tech to smartify parcels and assets and to allow customers to track their parcels in a transparent manner. Here with direct imported goods, it's uh, regarding wine. They used VeChain to validate and trace winery data from producers via supply chain by using smart NFC chips in the wine bottles. To end this counterfeiting market, there could be more VeChain partnerships coming in the future. But there's even more. The partnership with PwC is, uh, is quite deep, and they will implement VeChain's blockchain solutions to its big client base, of which, you know, there's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of them, all right? There's a lot of them. You know, as a couple of clients are IBM, Ford, Dell, Cisco, and uh, 3M, as well as 400 plus out of the top 500 Fortune 500 companies. It will also help provide credibility for future uh, interested parties in VeChain partnerships. Hopefully you guys understand a little bit right now of the behemoths that VeChain is, uh, is working with. There's also another one here, DNVGL, which I also think is huge. In March 2018, they implemented VeChain's first DApp My Story, a digital assurance solution which targets the food and beverages industry based on audits and data collection. And a lot of this has to do with the fact that you can uh, basically check out, for example, a wine bottle. You can check out the entire history of that wine bottle from exactly the grape in which it came from at the exact winery, for example. But I think all those partnerships don't really make a big dent in the space as much as this one that you're seeing right in front of you right here. UFC partner VeChain 
and they aim to change the entire freaking world. I've said a couple of times before, I personally don't think that VeChain took the best of steps in this last market cycle. The last bull run in 2021, they didn't do too well. And I described before to you guys, the reason I think they didn't is because they're fixing a major issue. But in the crypto space, it's a lot about, okay, hype yourself up, sell it to us. And if you don't have some of the partnerships which people really can know and feel, right? You might have the craziest of partnerships in the background. If people can know and feel that, it's really hard to get your name out there to the plebeians, to the normal people, so to speak, uh, that are at, at a lot of points, specifically in the newer bull runs, just completely distracted by the e-news, you know, by all the meme coins, or by a lot of the behemoths which do go for crazier partnerships or have different sorts of communities. So this for Vichin is such a major move, I think, because through this, they can appeal a lot more to the masses. A lot more people will hear about what Vichin is trying to do, what people is trying to, what Vichin is trying to change. It's just so great and crazy. I think that the next market cycle, they're going to go on one crazy tour, just one crazy rampage. Now, again, make sure you understand, guys, that I am not your financial advisor, and this video is in no way, shape, or form sponsored or contacted anyway by VeChain. I've actually never spoken to the team. I can't say I know anybody at VeChain. Holder. I'm just a guess an excited person about VeChain. Again, please do not buy just because I said it's a good thing because at the end of the day, nobody knows. Just all these factors which I just described to you guys make it look very appealing. To be a little bit more in the current, there's also an update which just came out. VeChain update. New version of VeChain Thor released with various performance up improvements. VeChain is improving quite a lot over the last couple of months. And fun fact, right now they're going trending, as you can see right here, for two major reasons. VeChain has a pretty good community over on Twitter that are always able to talk about all these upgrades and talk about the things happening, and very often it goes trending. But the second is right now there's a movement to showcase that VeChain has NFTs. You can see the hashtag VeChain has NFTs. It actually was trending before as well. And I think these two things together make uh, for a very exciting moment, I guess, for VeChain. So POA, proof of authority, which VeChain has. 2.0 adds finality to VeChain Thor's consensus mechanism, eradicating the issues associated with the two most commonly used consensus types. Finality guarantees data security, even if the network is disrupted. We're building the world's most advanced public blockchain. Hashtag VeChain. And like uh, this guy says, POA 2.0 plus UFC is two cent forever. And honestly, his remarks are not that surprising. I mean, this coin has so much potential and such crazy partnerships, yet the price is this low. But it's exactly for that reason that so many people are crazy excited about it in the near future, or at least for in the near future in terms of games. You can realize for yourself, right, if it's got all this crazy technology, all these crazy partnerships, and is this low of a price still, it hasn't pumped that much, that we stamp this then logically with the definition undervalued. We're expecting some very crazy gains for VeChain in the near future. And take a look. Crypto community predicts bullish VeChain price for August of, or I guess August 31st of 2022. Disclaimer, CoinMarketCap's crypto community price estimate is based only on the votes of its users. Estimates do not guarantee end of month prices. And that is very important. Uh, and, and a couple of people have voted. And what they vote for is about a 100% increase in price over about a month. Why? Well, logically, the VeChain project has gotten a lot of partnerships in this little time frame. And I, even though the price is not pumping, it could be partially by the fact that the market is not in such a good move, partially by the fact that a recession is looming. And if it does loom, a lot of the supply chain issues, which VeChain is trying to fix, a lot of this stuff will be put on a little lower fire. It could be because recently they did not break their all-time high when a lot of other coins did. And in a similar trend as XRP, they're being put on a little bit of a lower fire as the community is just tired of VeChain not pumping like crazy when a lot of other cryptos are. It could be the fact that VeChain just dipped so significantly low that people have given up for right now and they will only get again excited the moment that things start to kind of get back on its own by Bitcoin pumping. It could be a lot of different things. It could also be that VeChain is just one of those bull market behemoths and bear market losers because people kind of fail to see the utility or fail to look further than their nose is long. A lot of possibilities, not that many answers. But the most important thing remains the same. I'm excited about VeChain. I'm a big hodler. I don't really recommend you guys to buy or sell anything. Honestly, do your own research and check it out for yourself. I'm just quickly sharing that I think it has one of the craziest partnerships, or actually, it's a crypto that has probably the craziest partnerships. I, I can't really name any competitor. HBAR is good, but VeChain has some out-of-this-world partnerships 
wanted to quickly share that. I wanted to also share what they do and one of the newest partnerships that they had, plus a little update as you guys just saw. And that was it for today's video. All right, do as you please. VeChain is pretty good in my opinion. I'm honestly expecting some crazy prices over the next couple of years. Wouldn't be surprising to me if we see a dollar for VeChain not even long from now, but most likely only when the bull market comes back. But yeah, that was it for today's video. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you press the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again in another crypto video later today.